at first glance, I look normal, happy, all smiles, energetic. It's so easy to believe that I'm okay. People tend to think that if they cannot see it, it's not there. As if your pain has to be evidenced by bleeding or a visible injury to be accepted that you really are hurting. But it's not entirely their fault either. We disguise our demons so well that they don't even look twice. So I adapt. I learn to fake a smile, hide a jungle, carry kerchiefs and deodorants, which might sound weird, but I cannot go by a day with, without it. You see confidence because that's the me I chose to show you. What you don't know is me squirming from the feeling of spiders in my stomach. I could have said butterflies, but it's not a very pretty feeling. And spiders prancing around in my stomach is the best way to put it. Within minutes, it's as if the spiders brought more friends and the feeling of their spindly legs in my stomach becomes unbearable until my palms and soles sweat enough to leave a print until the mild warmth within me turns into a sweltering heat radiating off of me as if I was on fire inside. I feel my entire body tremble, my mouth and throat turn so dry that it hurts to swallow and then comes the heaviness on my chest. But I learned to mask it all because there's no place for weakness in our world, in a perfect society. Only the strong survive and the weak are thrown, damaged. Because that's what's been doing in our brain. That's what we see every day. So I mold myself becoming whatever pleases you. I make sure to look at both your eyes equally, shake my head at the right time, laugh and smile accordingly. And if you do notice me looking away, it's not because I'm not paying attention. I'm really thinking if you've noticed how my voice has risen, an octave more, the sweat beating on my forehead, on my leg volume. I know what you're thinking when you talk to your friends or your family, they will always understand you. I know that because I've been asking myself that the whole time. But it's not easy, it's not easy to explain that you do understand a social conversation is not a life in this situation. If I don't have to assess your face for disappointment, it's not the end of the world if you didn't laugh at my joke or not like me. I know they will always try to understand me, but will they ever look at me the same way? Will they have to walk on broken glass around me or will they see themselves in me? I cannot, I just cannot stop thinking. I know I should, but I can't help it. I'm tired. Tired of being in my own mind. I'm tired of chasing away my thoughts with music. I know I could never open up to a person, so I chose something else. Something different. Allowing myself to hope for the peace of my mind. I chose homeopathy. It's been six months. I won't say I'm perfectly alright, but my thoughts are much clearer. I'd always felt like I was wading through honey or my thoughts were slow, too many, jumbled and in a mess. But now my thoughts are more fluid and I'm able to analyze myself and realize that I'm overthinking. When I say homeopathy has helped me, it's in many small ways that means a lot to me, but maybe not much to others. After a whole year of loneliness and anxiety, I finally went to a restaurant with my old friends and managed not to have a meltdown. In a time when restaurant dates have become a norm, it's a big deal for me to go from watching them on social media to sitting with them and laughing together. So I'm eternally grateful to be able to enjoy beautiful moments like this again. Another pleasant surprise I noticed that is mostly a consequence of hushing the incessantly loud, horrible voiceover in my head. I am able to indulge in hobbies that I previously refrained from for the fear of not meeting others' expectations or mine. So now I paint, I dance, I read all genre and it honestly feels like I've escaped the prison I unconsciously built in my own mind. I do still have episodes but these are less frequent and less intense than it used to be. So I am forever grateful to my doctor who chose to believe in me. I am proud of myself for taking steps to heal myself.